G'day everyone, Matt from Oil Marker 66 here again. Today we're going to be cooking some spicy lamb chops. I think lamb chops are really great and maybe a little bit underrated uh, cut of meat in the world of barbecue. Uh, I really like them because they're really classic. I'm sure a lot of you grew up eating lamb chops for dinner, so they're a real classic Kiwi uh, meal and, and probably for the Aussies as well. The other thing I like about the lamb chops is that they're really accessible and they're really well priced when you compare to them, them to maybe some of the more sought after cuts of lamb. Uh, I think chops are, are very reasonable and they're great little cuts and really good to go on the grill. Now if you know uh, anything about uh, the anatomy of a lamb, you probably know that there's a number of different chops that you can get out there. You can get your neck chops, uh, there's shoulder chops, chump chops uh, and uh, even leg chops that you can get. So there is a range but today we're going to be cooking loin chops. I really like loin chops, they're quite small, you can almost treat them like finger food, I think they're really great. So the loin chop really is uh, a bit like, it's the T-bone of the lamb world. So if you look here, you've got your little T-bone and you've got your loin and your tenderloin muscles. Uh, you'll also see you've got this strip of fat here and a little bit of meat at the end. And what that is, is actually your, your belly. Uh, so that is basically your loin chop. In terms of preparing these, uh, what we're going to do is we're basically going to take this whole fat seam off here and the reason we're going to do that is because we're going to be smashing them really hot and fast today and they're just not going to be in long enough for any fat to render down so we're going to take those off so very simply we're just going to cut that off there You don't need to be too uh, too precious about it. These aren't going in a tune-in box or anything like that. Just need to get that fat off the side there. Now that we've trimmed our meat up, we're going to give it a rub. And the rub we're using today is Rum and Q Ramrod. And uh, this rub's got a bit of cumin in it, which is a really nice spice that complements lamb really well. There's a few other goodies in there as well, but if you taste this rub, you definitely will be able to taste the cumin. Uh, and one thing I have actually done is I've added a little bit of cayenne pepper because I want a little bit of kick on these. Uh, but that's your personal preference. If you don't like spice, uh, you know, I would avoid it. If you are using cayenne, just be aware that a little bit goes a long way. You don't need a lot before you can uh, really taste that heat. But I wanted some spicy lamb chops today, so I've added something for a bit of a kick. So you can really see as that rub starts to settle on the meat there, um, it's got a really great colour, really nice colour to it, this rub. All right, now that we've got those seasoned up, we're going to head out and light our barbecue for some hot and fast grilling. Today we're going to be doing our lamb chops super hot and fast and what I'm using today is a kettle cone and if you've got a kettle and you don't have one, a kettle cone is something I really recommend that you look at investing in as a, a great barbecue accessory. And what the kettle cone does is it's going to concentrate our heat source in the middle here and once we put the lid on it's going to push that heat source up onto the lid and then back down onto uh, whatever we're cooking. Uh, so it is a really great way for cooking your hot and fast stuff. Um, small things like wings and the lamb chops we're doing today. Um, you'll do, you would have noticed that the lamb chops are quite small, so they are going to cook quite quickly. Um, and this is just a really great way to do that hot and fast cook. So what I'm going to do is just evenly space these around the outside. And what I'm looking for today is an internal temperature uh, of 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And that 140 degrees is going to, um, is a low enough temperature that it's going to stop these drying out. We'll catch them before that, but they should be beautiful and uh, tender when we're done. Right, so these things have been in for literally about five minutes and they're up to 100 degrees Fahrenheit already. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to flip them over now and just give the other side a little bit of a go as well.
Just for your interest, the kettle is running uh, at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, now it's been about 10 minutes and we're at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're going to whip these things off and get them ready to serve. And look at that, what an awesome cook. 10 minutes, hot and fast, some beautiful lamb chops here. And today we're going to serve them with a bit of curry rice and we've got some uh, nice mint yogurt on the top here. Uh, but with all due respect to rice and yogurt, the meat's really what we want to see. So uh, let's have a look at one of these things. Mmm, beautiful, tender. Might have left them on a little too long, if I'm being perfectly honest, but they're still very tender and tasty. Got that really nice kick. Mmm. That rub's got a great colour, great taste. These are really tasty. And there we go, some beautiful lamb chops. Now this is such a, an easy, fast and affordable dish you can whip up. I mean, you can get home from work and do these things in no time, uh, which is really great. I highly recommend giving them a go and give that ramrod a nudge too, great lamb rub. Uh, look, if you enjoyed your vi the video today, give us a subscribe so you can keep up with our content and uh, throw us a like on social media as well. In the meantime, I'm going to enjoy some nice lamb chops and have a cold drink. Cheers.